So if you're the one who got baffled setting up Android Studio inside your Windows computer, then this video helps you to set up Android Studio properly on your Windows 11. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android Studio on Windows 11 step by step, which includes a setting up Oracle JDK, Android Studio installation, setting up Android SDK, installing Android Virtual Device Manager, and improving the performance of the Android Studio. And lastly, I will show you how to deploy your Android application into your physical device. Now keep in mind, these instructions will also work on any Windows 10 computer. Before installing Android Studio, it's always a good practice to set up an Oracle JDK on your system. Now keep in mind, the Android Studio comes with a built-in support for OpenJDK. Now you can skip to the next tab if your projects have not relied on Oracle JDK. Anyway, to install the Oracle JDK on your computer, open your favorite browser and search for the JDK on Google. Now this would take you to the Oracle website from here, you can download the latest version of the JDK or the LTS release depends on your workflow. Now, in my case, I will choose the latest JDK 16 and download the EXE file for Windows PC. Now once it is done downloading, go ahead and install the JDK. Now as you can see, this is the location where all of the Java commands or tools will be installed. Now once it is done installing a JDK, go ahead and open your computer and go to the partition where Windows have been installed. Then choose a program files, Java JDK, and look for a bin folder. Now we are going to add this bin directory to the system path. This way we can access the Java command from the terminal. Now this thing it helps the Android Studio to use a JDK automatically. Now go ahead, highlight the address bar and copy the location. Then right click on this PC. Then choose to show more options. Then select the properties. Then go ahead, choose an advanced system settings. Now choose environment variables. Then under the system variables, choose the path and edit with a new string and paste the address. Now to check whether we can access the Java commands, open a command prompt and type the java-version and you can see the Java version. It's time to download an Android Studio. Now open any browser and search for Android Studio. Now this is going to take you to this link. Now from here choose an Android Studio and download the latest version. For Windows users, it's always recommended to download an .exe file. Now once it is done downloading the Android Studio, open it and install. Now go ahead and open the Android Studio for the first time. Now here you can either import the previous settings of the Android Studio or choose the not import settings. Now in this case I would stick with this option and click on OK. Now 
Now this is the welcome screen of Android Studio. Go ahead, click on next. Now in this case, I would stick with a standard type. Now if in case you want to rely on Oracle JDK, you can choose a custom option and customize the Android Studio according to your project. Now click on next and choose the theme here. Then this will show the list of the files to be downloaded that includes an Android SDK, build tools, platform tools, Intel Hexam installer and more. Now go ahead click on finish to start downloading and install all of the components. And that's it. The Android Studio is ready to create the first project. Now let me go ahead and customize the IDE by changing the font of the editor and IDE. You can also install the plugins from here if in case you need any. Anyway, uh, click on the A Projects tab, then choose a new project. Now here you can choose a template for the phone, tablet or Android TV. And for now, I choose to build a login application for the phone, so I would pick this template. Then click on next. Here we can name the application and leave the package name as it is. Then set the language. Now in this case, we are building an application using a Java, so I would pick a Java. Now for the minimum SDK level, I would set it to a Marshmallow. Now basically we're telling to the computer or the Android Studio, the application that we are building runs an Android 6.0 or higher. Now go ahead click on finish to launch the project. For the first time, this will take a lot of time to set up all Gradle files along with indexing the source code. And you can monitor all these processes by clicking on the background task. Anyway, I will let all the tasks running in the background for now. Uh, meanwhile, you can go ahead and set up an Android emulator or Android Virtual Device Manager on your PC. Now, this helps us installing an application inside a virtual Android device so that we can test our application. Now, anyway, to do so, click on this button, then choose to create a virtual device. Then under the phone, choose which device you want now in this case, I would pick a Pixel 4a and click on next. Now go ahead, download an operating system for Pixel 4a, which in case it's showing as an Android R, uh, in this case an Android 11. Now choose the latest version from here and download. Now once it's done downloading, choose next and leave the AVD name as it is. Then under the graphics section, you can either choose in hardware or software support to render the application. Now in my case, I will set it to automatic and the system will decide itself to use in hardware acceleration or software support during the runtime. Now once everything is set, I click on finish and that's it. Now we are done installing the Android virtual device. Now as you can see, the Gradle sync process is also done and the IDE has started indexing the source code. We're gonna wait for some more time until it's finished. And that's it. Now you can see the code has been indexed and it's time to run our first application inside the virtual Android device. Now in this case, the Pixel 4a. To do so, click on the run button and then choose a Pixel 4a and wait for the Gradle to perform its magic.
and that's it this is how you can run the android application inside the emulator now keep in mind android emulator takes a lot of system resources and sometimes it's not recommended to run any heavy application inside the emulator and eventually the system will become slow to fix this kind of issue i recommend testing the application inside your physical android device now as you can see this is my redmi note 10 pro i'm going to use this device and show you guys how to deploy the application on your device anyway inside your android device head over to the settings then choose about the system and tap on the build number for seven times to activate the developer options then choose developer options and enable android usb debugging you go ahead connect your device to the pc through the usb cable then restart the android studio and the ide will detect the android device in debugging mode and asking for the authentication on your phone now go ahead accept the permission then under the device section inside the android studio you can see your physical android device showing up here now go ahead click on the run and the gradle will start deploying the android application onto your physical device now as you can see it has been installed successfully now lastly if in case your IDE is performing via like stuttering or lagging now this could be the problem of the heap memory now to fix this head over to the settings of the android studio then choose the system settings and then select the memory settings and increase the IDE heap size to the 2000 megabytes. Now this will use a more RAM on your system and in return the IDE works like a magic. That's pretty much it. This is how you properly set up a Android Studio inside your Windows 11 computer. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Royal. I will see you in my next one.